everything you were saying like made sense right but i was mm-hmm. like oh content this and that like it just didn't click in my mind like how we go out like i'd shoot a video and like get like 20 views and just boosting it like i didn't get it right yeah now i get it like now like i get the ads like i want to advertise across all platforms uh rebecca and i are going to shoot like videos at the compass office or wherever like we're going to do at least like once a week something different perfect uh, we want to be very consistent but here's where I, what i want to do so i have a guy right now that just like running ads for me Good. there's two different types of ads we can get into that later but um but he does it from his page so i just pay him a flat fee and i mm-hmm. just get like however many leads i want that month into my crm mm-hmm. Boom, just work it i got isas and all that so you know that's that's great but i also like these are great for buyer leads right to capture them but like mm-hmm. how do you get sellers you have to like do content like have content stay in front of them so like i've been um very active on linkedin so i have like a big email list and it's growing all the time mm-hmm. so i want to like, create custom audiences you know for like san francisco buyers sellers here investors mm-hmm. there like i want to really be in front of them and like every time i release some kind of marketing like they all see it all the time plus new people mm-hmm. and here's where i was so based on like what you helped me with like two years ago i went back to like that course and like your youtube channel and stuff and like, i'm running ads I'm running them and they're always constantly getting rejected. This didn't happen to me last year. Mm-hmm. So like, it's like a special housing ad. Yes, I know. I clicked it and I get it rejected because it's a special housing ad. Like nothing I can do. Like I can't get the shit running. And what I'm realizing is like, I know the basics. I know more than the basics at this point, mm-hmm. but like, I don't know enough to like actually do it. So like I sat there, wasted like two weeks on ads. The shit can't run. I just like, okay, whatever. You know what I mean? So I don't know. They change the algorithm all the time. I don't know if I can do it. Or I just need to like pay you or someone to like really do the things I want to be done. Like, well, are you running them from? So then you have this guy running them every now and then, and then you're just trying to run them as well. No, so I'm not running anymore. Everything gets rejected. Like if you go to my ad, like it's just like rejected. Ad review rejected. Like no matter what I do, every combination in the world, just nothing. I can't get it going. Other okay. people are like boost post, boom, done. I'm like a boost post. Nope, it's a housing post. Can't be boosted. Like it's it's Facebook hates me right now. So is that is that what you're doing? You're boosting it from your actual phone, or are you coming in here from from a computer and coming into the actual ads manager? Oh, both. I played an ads manager for so long. Like I had, like if you go through, I don't know if you can still see my setup, but you know. And you're checking this box right here. Yes. Okay, so if you're checking that box, dude, and you're going yeah. housing. You should be, you should be fine. Um, and it's like, it doesn't even let you edit the things that you can't put in to the like, you know, audience or targeting. So like, wh- why, how can I possibly get it rejected? Of course, there's no phone number. No one ever responds. So I, I just, I quit. Like, <laughs> do you want to share your screen and, and I'll just take a look at yours? Cause I don't have access to yours. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Let me stop and then go ahead and share your screen. Okay, perfect. I guess I, yeah. Are you, are you running at, well, actually, well, these, you know, ads that you've been trying to run, are you, what, what type of ads, like as far as the objective, are you running traffic? Are you running a- I did every single thing? I can spend two weeks just okay. putting out ads and like, okay. Oh, this is this. I, I know what I need to get done, but like, it, it just doesn't happen for me. Okay. Uh, where is the freaking ads manager in here? Let's go to the um. Click on click on create, right there next. Yeah, click on create and then just click on add. We can get to it from there. And then click on the three lines. Or actually, yeah, you can click on your ad account right there. And then we'll click on um. We'll click on the three lines and then go to the ads manager because I think this is going to bring you to the actual setup. Yeah. So let's go to the ads manager. Actually, down at yeah, right there. Perfect. Okay, cool. So conversions that you got, you got the right idea on that one. Um, so this is street tech stuff like these guys right here. Cause I, I do it from another platform. That's the only way I can get something going. See home value sellers. Okay. Th- th- I think this is still street techs. As I'm coming in here. Like where are my rejected ads? You would, you would see them there. You might be, is it, is that the right account in the top? Actually, you got, you got that three items with errors 
you got that. We could check that. But then also the to the left, the one two nine one seven. Is that the right account? Because sometimes yeah, it's the right account. I have street tax. I only have the one. Okay. Oh. So like right here, example, like boom, can boost this. This guy can can get that out. Conversions, conversions, link clicks, unique reach. Like what I try it all. Like you know? okay, so the ad errors. Um, so these are so then you're getting you're getting rejected on Instagram or is it on Facebook as well? As well, Facebook. Okay, yeah, so yeah. click on. Um, well, that ad that ad went through, so that one was on at one time. I don't understand where all the ad, like okay like, it's still Instagram. It still says Instagram. Instagram, are those videos? Uh, Instagram. I don't remember. Okay, we could uh, we can click on them, but I wonder where your other ones are. Like I started they, deleting them, and because I started deleting them, so they're not here. Like everything was just red. Like no matter yeah, yeah. there's error. Like it was just I quit and deleted them all. Yeah, like just again like Instagram. Nothing here says Facebook. Damn it, I can't even show it to you. Let's um. Like, like I want to say like, hey, set up an ad. Like there's three pages of thing. Like there's it's really not that complicated. But because yeah. I can't get an ad going, like I literally had like a mental breakdown in January. Like I just don't want it. You know, I probably went through and deleted everything. Like, just hover over the um the red little sign right there. Hover, yeah. Let me read that real quick. None of these ads are running each. Of the... Okay, just click on view ads. Let's just see if we can just see what the hell they're talking about. So rejected. This ad doesn't comply with our advertising plan. Yep. Okay, so then um, check the box to the very, very left next to the blue. Yeah, check the box and then go to campaigns. Click on the tab, campaigns. Okay, and then go go back to that and open up the um, edit. So go down to that check box, whatever that, wherever that ad was. Um, what was it? Is it? Damn, where did it go? Well, you checked the box, so it, we should see it here. Um, go ahead and scroll back up. Or actually, it's at the very top. So scroll down. Let's go back down. Yeah, I thought we. I thought we checked the box. Go ahead and um, let's look at that. That one that just says "Ad Sets Error." Let's see. Okay, so this one. Yeah. Open up the um just yeah go scroll under under the actual title Instagram post click on edit and then click on the um very top see so the width of the Instagram photo thumbnail has to be larger okay so that could be one reason right there is the actual formatting of the image that could be one reason right there for sure it's a standard square image on Instagram. The width of the Instagram photo, video, or video thumbnail has to be larger than 500 px. So like, that one simple dumbass reason could be one reason. That's like a standard square photo on it. Like I don't know. What, yeah, but it's not. It's not formatted for Instagram though. It could be a standard square for Facebook for sure, but Instagram completely different size, and yeah. that alone would reject. This was um, all created when I just try to boost or like maybe I try to create an ad with it, but like click on the very top on the Instagram post 2019. Click on that. Yeah. See, look, boom. That's the reason, bro. Your box ain't checked over here. That's the only reason, dude. Oh, see, like, so, so, it looks so bad. Like I know I checked it. I know I tried a million times. Like I went through with my buddy who was boosting or like, you know, made like whatever ad he posted on Facebook. Mm -hmm. We went through together. Like, Hey, you clicking this or right, I'm clicking it. You doing this. All right. We're doing the same thing. His went through. Mine didn't mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like, so like, it makes me look so bad right here. Cause it's, this is not clicks. No, I'm but I, I get it. I, I and, and that's why sometimes when you're surfing around, like you're just kind of browsing through the damn dashboard here. Sometimes you got to go back and double check the damn thing. And that's why, that's the reason why a few, you know, literally two minutes ago, I said, is that the right account? One, two, nine, one, seven, because by default, sometimes they'll throw you in a completely different account. And you're like, holy shit, this ain't even my right account. Because if you hit that drop down one, two, nine, there's another account. 
by default, you have like a couple accounts. So click on that one, two. See, sometimes you'll be in Eli. Sometimes you'll be in that account when you're working in the one, two, nine account. So sometimes you got to always double check when you, when you go and confirm the shit. So that right there, bro, that image and the fact that that box wasn't checked, you may have thought you checked it or you may have checked it. But for some reason, when you went to confirm it, it wasn't checked. That's the only reason why, bro. That's the only reason why your shit would get rejected. Another reason why you're, you're what I've experienced from real estate is if you're doing like, and, and you probably were not doing anything like this at all, but something so stupid where I had a client, an agent where she did an open house and she recorded it and she was doing a simple walkthrough. And because there was a freaking bar in the kitchen, right? It was a luxury home. There was a freaking nice ass bar because of the freaking alcohol, the bottles that were on the bar, the ads rejected. So like little random ass things like that, it could reject it. But, it, but I know that wasn't this case. So it had to have been that box that wasn't checked or the size of the image. And as stupid as that is, that's, that's, that's what it is. Because if it's not that, there's no other reason. You're not targeting a zip code. You, you can no longer target a gender or an age. And you're not talking about off the wall shit in your video. And if it was an image, that's even, you know, more safer. So the only reason why, bro, is that box. If you click on all of them and then you watch, click on any random one, click on it. And then click on, is there like a, click on it, edit one. This is all Instagram. Like I want to check like a Facebook one because Instagram, obviously like, you know, these are just boosts. Like that, that's why. Yeah. Because, because they're boost. When you go through the boosting, pro the boosting process, that box isn't there. Fuck, man. I, I honestly, like, I'm getting anxiety. And, like, I can't, I can't even, like, show you what went wrong. That's how wrong it is for me right now. Like, I. No, uh, I, totally, I totally get it. But I, I, I'm 99.9999% sure that's what it was. Is it, that's why I always advise people, you have to do it through here. Like run it through the ads manager, even though you have, but just make sure, you know, that's, that's the habit we have. We, we have to run it through here. We're not boosting it from our cell phone. We're not boosting a post. Like we're running an actual ad and we're checking that box every time. I know, man. I, I came in here, like you know? I was showing Rebecca, like with tears in my face, like, Hey, look, clicking. <laughs> yeah. says ad review, no special housing. Look, Click. the mark is checked. Like I'm throwing Click my laptop that. around the room. Like I, like it's, I, not professional of me at all, but like, that's how bad it is. No, like, I get it, dude. Can't even click, on that. <laughs> like, click on that first rejected one, buyer <gasps> to seller conversion. Click on that, edit it. Yeah, but it's street text. It's going to be perfect the way they, they make it. Like, I don't even want to look at it. It's not like me setting that. Look at the edit real quick. Let's just open it up real quick. Just for the shit, shits and giggles. Edit and then, and then click on the very top street dash buyer to seller to the very left, the top, that top tab. Yeah, see special ad category. That's all it is, bro, is that box. And I had the same exact call yesterday with a client. She okay. was like, dude, what the hell is going on? Click on the, the to the very left, to the so top. This, this right here came up every time, even when I put special housing. I put it, I went back, I edited, I created new. I was like, why is it not changing it? I thought that it wouldn't change it or like not saving the fact that I was putting special ad category, mm -hmm. but it was. And then when it's reviewing, nope, not special ad category. I'm like, it is. I, I set it through I, for sure. Like, I'm not crazy. I tried it maybe a couple hundred times. Like, <laughs> yeah, click on, um, no, it's all good, man. Freaking, um, click on, click on the top in the top left, that street buyer or seller, that tab. Yeah. Click on that one. Yeah. yeah see, not checked here. See, not checked. So, um, click on the, on the, on the, on the third one again, buyer to seller conversion, 900 K click on that third. Yeah. Click on that one. And then just, um, right click right click that that link learn more right click and open in a new tab no not that one just the actual link learn more about running ads in a special ad category right click that open a new tab um and okay. just scroll down see if there's anything that you have to comply to because sometimes this is the very 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 first step you have to comply but sometimes it's it's not here and as long as you just check the box you're fine but okay so there's nothing there's nothing to click there Okay, fine. So then go back to the ads, click on the second link, the yeah, second learn more. I'll tell you, David, if, if this is all it is, I'll probably quit Facebook today. Like, I, no, don't quit. Don't it's quit not, because it's not what it is. Like I am, I sound crazy. Like, you know, like I'm not crazy, but I'm not crazy. Like, it's, no, I hear you. I hear you loud and clear, bro. I get it. Click on, um, click on choose category real quick. Let's just open that up real quick. 
yeah see so the damn the damn box like i'm telling you dude if you freaking check that box and you publish that shit will go live i know but this ad was created last year yeah i know i know but like my all my ads this year like okay I click, ad, it just like anger rage deleted them click on click on that first one let's open up that first one real quick yeah click on that one edit and then go to campaign or click on yeah see look the box is checked so I, I, I cannot tell you what i'm going through like it, no i get it i get it bro and that's why i do that's why i told you even last year or whatever whenever the hell we spoke it's like dude this shit's like a it's like a full-time job but then again it's not i truly believe anybody can learn it and you can totally do this yourself but at the same time you gotta you gotta make sure you're crossing the t's and dotting the i's and and that a certain extent of that comes down to micromanaging which is freaking time consuming and if and and sometimes we just miss these basic ass steps and throws off it throws off the whole damn thing so you may have for sure checked that, but again, as you're going through the process, sometimes you have to double check it before you hit that publish or the confirm. It's not even the publish. It's the third step where you confirm and you ready to go and you're ready to go live. It's always best to go back and check every tab again. And, and really to tell you the truth, it's not the third tab, which this is the third tab, the actual ad. The second tab is the actual ad set. That's the targeting, the demographics. It's not even that. In your case with real estate, it's going to always be that first tab. Double check. Is that damn box checked or not? Like always double check that first campaign tab. That's the only reason why your shit's going to get rejected. It ain't nothing else, bro. It ain't that image. It ain't what you're writing in the text. It's not your targeting. It's none of that shit. It's a damn box. Um, and again, unless you're, unless you're showing bottles of alcohol in your video, then of course, you know, that would be another reason. But if you're not doing any of that crap, these these damn ads should go through that's that's why those two that are blue you know if you click on both of them they're both the boxes are checked um but the other ones you know aren't so i'm 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 damn near 100 percent sure that was what it was and again even though you think you checked it you probably did but you for some reason it, it didn't finalize as checked that's so i'm just saying you know double check double check before you hit the last confirm which is on the third step, the third tab, you know? So look at that, bro. You're right. Those, all those leads right there, those are all conversion. Yeah. Those are all conversion ads. So here's what you should do, bro. For sure. Take a damn breather. This shit, it, this is, I'm telling you, dude, this is your, this is your best friend, bro. I told you this a couple of years ago, Facebook ads, you have to crush it, bro. And, and look, these leads are coming in. You are like you are now. It just comes down to strategy. I, I truly believe you, you don't necessarily have a strategy and the strategy is the content. So if I can just maybe freaking teach you that part real quick, I think you'd be, you'd be crushing it. You'd be crushing it because you have the conversion part down. You know how to set up the damn thing. Now, what kind of content do we put out and how do we stay consistent with it? And, you know, cause I'm telling you, just make sure you check that box, double check, triple check if we have to, and, and just keep rolling out content. And so, what I would recommend is, is, is video for sure. You guys do great on video. One a week is really all you need to be doing and, and running that a new one video every week, conversions, targeting that area and creating custom audiences. That's so, what it's all about. So all these things are things that like I want done for me. Cause I I'm, I'm giving up officially. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. You know, I can't do it. So like I'm about to pay yeah. someone like over th like thousands of dollars every month to like do this for me because my, my box wasn't checked and like, you know what I mean? Like, it, yeah, yeah, no, I, I get it, man. It, so what happened to, to the other guy? I mean, is he running ads or, or is he going to start continue to run ads or who? Yeah, he's running ads every day. We, okay. we went on a screen share. I did my ad setup and he did his. We did exactly the same thing. Mine's working. His is not. His ads are not working and he's an ad guy? No, he's on my team. Oh, he's on your team. He's like, hey, Eli, how do you run your ads? I'm like, bro, let me show you how, how this fucking shit works. I showed him and he went and copied for the first time ever. And his thing got approved every time. He's running ads every week. I can't mm -hmm. run one ad. Like, I, I... Gotcha. Okay. Okay. So then shit, man. I mean... It's totally up to you. If you want to just dive in and, and continue to learn it yourself or you 
you know, you have, seriously just want to delegate it. Do you have like any other like option to work with you? Like where, you know, you help set stuff up or like you only teach people how to do it? No, bro. Like I, it's, it's totally up to you. I mean, those are really the two types of, of, of agents, you know, one that actually, I mean, I guess there's three, but really one that has absolutely no time, no patience, doesn't want to touch this damn shit at all. And they just want me to do it for them. That's one type. And then the other type is, is one that actually wants coaching and wants to be, you know, in the mix with me. And I, and I teach them as we go. So it, it just comes down to what you want to do. Do you have the time to jump on a couple coaching calls a week? Yes. Um, like, or or do you, to. yeah, it, it's up to you. If you, if you want to do that or, or you want to just say, you know what, David, here's the budget, just freaking do what you do. Can you tell yeah. me the pricing on both of those options? I mean, really, it's it, to tell you the truth, it, it's really the same because what I, what I rolled out, let me, um, actually, yeah, I could, I guess I could share my screen, but really what I put together, my whole objective and my whole goal this year is to really take all my knowledge and, and package it all up. So what I have now is a, is an actual training course, a coaching course where I jump on a, I jump on a, on a call just like this. We screen share and we do it twice a week and it's every Tuesday and Thursday at, at noon where I jump on for an hour, we dive into ads, I'm walking you through your ads, I'm teaching you as I'm doing them for you. Um, some of them I'm doing it for clients, some of them they're doing it themselves. But with that comes an entire training course where I'm walking you through in video every damn ad. So, it's, and that's a course that I sell at $1,000 now. It's a one-time thousand and we jump on a call twice a week. For how long? For an hour or sometimes as long as we gotta go. Oh no, I mean like how like how many calls do do I get total? For until time? you're sick of me. Until you know this shit yourself. Okay. So with a thousand dollars comes with two coaching calls a week until until you know this shit yourself, plus forty five video. Well, actually you're not gonna need all forty five. You'll probably need maybe 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 thirty of the damn videos. But in there is just every single type of ad. And in reality, to tell you the truth, the only ad you need to be running is conversions. Hmm. So you're either going to pay someone monthly, just like you already know, or at a thousand dollar one time, we can jump on a call twice a week and I can walk you through this shit every week. Mm -hmm. And is you there, just learn it yourself. Is there a different, uh, possible different time? Like not Tuesday, Thursday at noon, or like other times. Yeah, man, whatever, whatever works best for you, bro. Like whatever. Okay. We'll schedule it. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever, whatever works for you. That, that, and that's, and, and to tell you true, that's more of a, of a, like a group call. So I'll have like a few other agents on the call with us and we'll just go, we'll, it's just troubleshooting. Like I'm looking at their ads, I'm reviewing everything for them, making sure they're setting it up the right way. But at the same time, it's, it's those two coaching calls and they have an entire video course that I put together. So you'll be able to refer to the course if you have the time or you can just jump on a couple times a week with, with us and, and we can just strategize and, and look at your freaking ads in real time. Okay, so, so it's, not, it's not personal calls like I'll be on a group and looking at someone else's ads most of the time. It, it can be. It can be. It, it's, again, it's all up to your schedule. It, it's up to you. It's up to you. Um, I try to keep it on Tuesday and Thursdays at that time for, for anybody and everybody. But if you just completely have – and you're my boy. Like, so we, I, I mean, I wouldn't do this for, for everyone at all. Like, most of these agents that I'm bringing aboard now, they're seeing me from ads that I'm running, driving them to a presentation that I'm doing – and they're just investing in the course from there. So these are agents that I don't even know, but someone like you that I have from the past, dude, you have my time whenever the hell you need me. I gotcha. And so, uh, so this is uh, Facebook and Instagram. Um, what about uh, YouTube? I know that those are like really high converting, very cheap. Like uh, Yes, you, YouTube is super, super powerful, man. So it just comes down to your budget, man. It comes in your budget. I can, I can walk you through how to run YouTube ads as well. Um, what kind of budget do you recommend for... So like, let's say, let's say I want to retarget my audience with content, right? I want mm -hmm. to get, you know, at least a hundred like buyer leads a month and then run a lot of seller at like my, my goal of doing these, like the videos and content and everything is to get listings. Right. Mm -hmm. but like, like, so can you walk me at least through a process of like how to get like listings in your opinion? Like I want like expensive listings, set, like sellers essentially in San Francisco. What, what I highly, highly recommend, man, is, is again, it's, it starts with video. And then it starts with retargeting and building custom audiences of the people who are watching your video. And then, and then it also has to do with you, the fact that you're running a video every day. That's the key. Like that's, that's what most people do not do. They don't run an ad every day. And I'm not talking about a different ad. 
one a week, one a week. So that's four videos a month that we're running every single day. And, and, and not only are we, are we running them as conversions, but we're also building custom audiences. So when we retarget custom audiences, the, 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 the cost per lead dr drops drastically because now we're, now we're retargeting warm people rather than a cold market. Your, your cost is high when you run your first ad because it's a cold market. But once you start retargeting people who are actually watching your video, that's why video is so powerful because you can build custom audiences. You can build custom audiences from people that are engaging in, a, in an image, but at the same time, your video, the branding is completely different. Like it's you on video. It's completely different. So when you can retarget audiences that are actually watching half of your video, 70% of your video, you retarget people who watched 95% of your five minute video. That's when your cost goes down, dude, like super, super down. So in my opinion, again, daily ad, one, one video per week that you're running every week, seven days, another video next week that we run for seven days and we're just building custom audiences. And what I highly, highly recommend is that you're giving away something for free. You're giving away a free seller guide. So now Eli becomes the educator. Now we're teaching people the process of selling. It's not just, hey, hey, come list with me. I'll freaking list your house tonight and have it sold by tomorrow morning. It's not that pitch. It's more of educating me on the process of selling and, and, and me doing a video. Hey, guys, this is Eli and Rebecca. We just wanted to come on camera and give you the top 10 tips on increasing the value of your property before selling it. I know a lot of people are selling in 2020. San Francisco is a hot market and prices are going to continue to increase. But let me give you a few tips that you'll want to implement before you decide to sell. And so this becomes now educational content that we're bringing to the market. And at the end of that video, there's a call to action. At the end of the video, there's your bait. So for example, at the end of it, you would say something like, hey guys, and don't forget, and, and Compass has this. In fact, I have a copy of Compass's seller guide. So you would have a seller guide. And at the end of that video, at the end of every video, there's a call to action. Hey guys, don't forget to click learn more. It'll take you straight to my webpage where you can download your free 2020 seller guide that's going to give you all the tips necessary to list that property at the highest value. Can't wait to talk to you soon. Click learn more. I'll see you soon. So, so now every, every video we're giving away something for free. So here, David, take a look. Um, so kind of wanted you, so this is one I try to boost. So, so what you did, you came in here and you clicked that blue button. Blue. Just got out of a listing appointment and I wanted to share with you guys the top two questions. Gosh, I get bro. I'm telling you, you're going to crush it. Every single time. I hope it proves helpful. So the first question is, what's my home worth? Of course, every homeowner has been wondering this. They want to know all the stats. Right, just like that. Basic stuff, right? Like a, so, a minute, uh, I just got out of seconds. an appointment with a lady that was very excited yes, to find bro. out that her... Right. Dude, I'm telling you. That's, That's what we're talking about. So like we, we sat down, we made like a, a schedule. We we're going to like use the office for like a once a monthly update with like top five things, top three things to avoid, like whatever, all those little videos, we're really going to try and do it. Like that's, that's the like obstacle that I was really struggling to get over last time where you're like, make a video, yeah. do this. Like, and I wasn't, and I was expecting like results. Now okay. you see, like I'm willing to do this. Like I'm showing you okay. like, there, so, there's an example. So, but, so all, all that you need to do, bro. All that you need to do is the last seven seconds. Hey guys, and don't forget to click learn more. It'll take you straight to my webpage where you can download your free 2020 seller guide. Talk to you soon. What else can I offer besides the seller guide? I mean, I, mean, I, I can offer that too, but what else it, is good? The, 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 I mean, offering a free consultation call, that's not, gonna, that's not really, I mean, people don't know you yet. So offering some type of call, offering some type of consultation, offering some type of, of, of any type of physical interaction. I mean, I'm not talking about this whole Corona thing. Besides that, like we're, 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 we're targeting people who don't necessarily know you. And even though we're building audiences of people who are watching your stuff, they're barely starting to see you. They're barely starting to get to know you. So it's not, it, so, so asking for someone's time, their physical time is not the best pitch. That's not, that's not our bait. We ha the only reason why we're giving away something of value is so we can capture their information. That's the only reason why, because we have to, ner we have to build a list. It's all about that list. The only reason why you're running Facebook ads, bro, is to build a list. It's to, it's to build your pipeline. I it's not it. necessarily to find that listing today. That listing is going to come from the back end. 
but you got to give me something. You got to give me something now. You got to give me something free now. And, and kind of like, um, see, like there's another one. Here's one I did. Like, let's see what this one is. Homes in San Ramon today with our wonderful clients. They want to. Rebecca, the Bader team. Here. I think I'm, uh, we're just telling Dude. a story, but uh, what about offering like a off-market list of properties? Or oh like yeah, bro. Are you kidding me? Heck yeah. And and that's another landing page. Hey guys, don't forget to click learn more. It'll take you straight to my page where you can where you can request your free copy of the 2020 buyer list or whatever. These are properties that are not even on the market. These are properties that most people cannot even get to. Click learn more. It'll take you straight to my webpage where you can download your free copy. And all they do is they go to your simple landing page, they opt in, and your email autoresponder shoots them a list of listings. Got it. So, David, so you, you obviously know what you're doing. I'm, I obviously need your help. Uh, tell me, like, how, like how, how fancy can we make this go? Like, how much can you bring down the cost per lead for, like, a buyer or seller? Like, what do you see your other agents doing? We, we got we to run it for at least – we got to go for at least a month. Because every everyone's every market is a little different. So, like for example, if you look at if you look at your cost right now, look at that cost per lead. Go back to your dashboard. And I think we we're gonna cut out because that third that third account logged on. So if, if we get cut off, just just log back on and log on but with one with which is your, oh, your computer. You. But oh. it, but if you go back to that to your to your dashboard and you look at your lead cost, that lead cost is pretty much as high as it's gonna get. Because from that point on, you should have been creating custom audiences and retargeting. So, for example, right here, that cost, that cost per result, that's super, super, that $46, $46.99, that's super, super high because that was going to a cold market. Right. Once we create custom audiences, and if that was a video, I don't know if that was a video, but let's say it was a video, the first one, lead conversion. If that was a video, we would have just simply retargeted retargeted and that lead cost per result would have been way lower oh my so, god hold on you see the thing is checked hold on is this is this one i can actually show you so let's go to okay the oh, link is, uh, image dimensions or, or no the link is required field so, so where not, were you so this was just get on an early notification list so it's really not that great uh, of a offer but but scroll down scroll down scroll down um Yes, yeah, the existing engagement won't be duplicated. Okay, so automatically. Um, okay, so so there it is, there, bro. There's so so you're running you're running a conversion. Is this a conversions or was it a conversions? Uh, lead conversion. Yeah, so it was conversions with no link. No, no, there there was a link. I, I went and edited and like tried again to like edit stuff on it. Like there there was a link. That's why it ran. Remember? Okay, uh, so that's so I had results and stuff. Okay, so it, it ran, but now when you took the link out, there there's there's the error. Right. That error was never there because it ran before. So you so my, my my question I guess is so you can see like if I run ads by myself or like just like self learning, mm -hmm. you see what it looks like. It looks like shit, right? Compared to like what you have. So like essentially like if I buy this course and like spend like a couple months of learning and spending budget on this with you, like can I have it as fancy as you or will I still be in the kind of like student mode here? No, hell no, bro. I'm going to freaking teach you everything and more. The, it, all it comes down to is, is to tell you the truth, man, all it comes down to is running the right ad, which you are conversions videos, which you are, and then creating custom audiences of all these people that are watching. That's it. And then driving it and then driving it to a landing page, which, which you are right with that, those conversions, you were taking them to a landing page. I, I'm assuming, right? Obviously. Right. Yeah. Uh, Yes. Yeah. So, so what I'm saying now is you want to start giving away something. And, and the reason why a PDF, a download is so simple is because it's so simple. It's a PDF. It's a download. It, it doesn't cost you anything. Like it doesn't cost you anything to produce. It doesn't cost you anything to send it out. It, it, it goes out via email. Anything else is it, there's too much of a barrier for you to hit me through an ad and ask me, ask me to jump on a call right now. I don't even know you. Right. So, so it, you have to give me, you have to give me something tangible. You have to give me something physical. And, and, and the only, the only thing that, that we can do that with is a, is a free download, a PDF. Now you can offer me some type of video, but at the same time, I mean, that's not really, I mean, click learn more. It'll take you straight to my video where I teach you, you know what I mean? Like now, now, now that's a completely different strategy, but, but it's not something tangible. Like 
it, 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 I think that's the only thing that's missing, man, where your lead, your lead costs, I mean, your lead costs would obviously go down, but your lead, your lead quantity would go up because now you're giving me something. And, okay. and, and that, that's what I truly believe would help you, man, is, and then now you build your entire campaign, you build your entire business around this 2020, sell, 2020 seller guide. Right. Like that's the top of the funnel. And, and, and that's something that you can start giving away anywhere and everywhere, not just online. I, I'm, I'm talking about our entire business model revolves around this PDF because that's how I, that's how I pack my pipeline. I love it, man. So how can I? And, 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 it, and it makes you less aggressive. It makes you less aggressive because, again, no one knows you yet. So having me schedule a call with you, I don't even know you, bro. Like, so, so that's too aggressive to go for a call right or right away. Now we're going to go for a call once they download the PDF. So you're, you're going to click, you're going to download my PDF. You're going to submit your, your name and email. You're going to click, send me the PDF. It's going to take you to another page where it's now Eli and Becca on a video saying schedule an appointment. Mm -hmm. So we'll get to that. That's, that's the third. So, so often page. They go to the thank you page. Hey, thank you so much. This is Eli Bader. I just wanted to thank you for downloading your free 2020 seller guide. Let me tell you a little bit about the seller guide and why we're so fired up about the information in it. In it, you're going to learn this, this, and this. Hey, and by the way, if you're interested or if, you're, if you have any, any questions right now, click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can book a call today. Can't wait to talk to you. Enjoy your 2020 seller guide. And hey, by the way, look out for my emails coming out because I'm going to be educating you on the process of selling over the next few weeks via email. And now our emails that go out, that also has a link to take people to your calendar. So the whole Facebook ad thing, man, it's all about the, the reason why we need to spend money on the top of the funnel. That's the Facebook ad is so we can fill up the funnel so we can fill up our list. It's all about filling up the pipe. Got it. So, uh, so, so I mean, compared to, so I'll be honest, I had a call with this guy, uh, Jason Wardrop yesterday. Yes, dude, how did that go? Uh, it went really well. I mean, he like he has it going on. Yeah, uh, oh, dude, he's to tell you the truth, bro. He's he's one of my top guys that I that I learned from. Here's your page here. Like, uh, this is not a course, right? This is just your YouTube channel. Yeah, that's just my YouTube channel. Yeah. So like, uh, and then you know, I subscribe to you and subscribe to him. So I had a perfect, call bro. Him, but he he's like, oh, I I charge this for this leads, and like I just like you know he he's he's you know who Street Text is? No. So it's like uh, they have the platform, they have the system, like you run ads through their stuff. Like the, the leads come to their CRM. Like you buy their software and like they deliver you ads at a certain spends. And like they do it for you. Mm -hmm. and, and they're like, he may be better quality, but he's actually more expensive than my guy. Mm -hmm. Like what you're saying for a thousand bucks, like you're going to teach me and like, like set it up for me at first, but like I can set it up for myself later and then suggest like better maybe landing pages in this. I remember you sent me like some cool cheap one. We're uh, going to set everything up in your account. Like I don't, that's the thing. You have some people that run it from their side. You have some people that run it from, from your side. I want to run everything on your, on your end. I got you. So, so that way you can see the analytics, you can see the reporting, you can see all that shit in real time on, in your account. I'm honestly really inclined to, to do this. Cause like, I, I think after maybe, I don't know, a couple months, what do you think? Like I'll, I'll know it all, you know, like, and be able to like work independently or at least like Bro, just have a quick question. You know what I mean? You're dude, I'm telling you, you're going to learn it all like freaking in the next week. Like let's jump on a couple coaching calls and, and let's just, you know, set all everything up the right way. And off we go. I'm telling you, it's, it's that it's, it's giving away something for free. That's your bait. Okay. We got to get our, our hands on a seller guide or a buyer guide. And then at the end of every video,